Districts 1, 2, 4, and 5 have the lowest rates of connectivity in the city. We knew that our kids didn't have access to the internet at home, um, but as soon as everybody went to online classes, uh, that was really the most, I think, stark and urgent need. Elected leaders, organizations, and individuals have been trying to improve San Antonio's connectivity for years, but the pandemic forced more people to pay attention to the digital divide. Without much time to prepare, teachers had to find ways to educate from a distance via virtual classrooms. But not every student was able to log on because not every student has internet access or the needed technology. And this isn't just an inconvenience, it's leading to concern that students will be left behind. I am very concerned that we're going to see uh, a greater widening of the achievement gap in education uh, between the, the haves and the have-nots. Back in April, this mother of four was one of thousands of parents to get a digital device from the San Antonio Independent School District. We were trying to get all four of them on one iPad. And so that was really a challenge. Other school districts and organizations also collaborated to offer students access to the internet. It'll help a lot because they can actually have their Wi-Fi to do the work during the day. But the digital divide isn't just a problem for students. It provides access to everything, um, not only being able to um, have the option to work from home, um, if that's an, an option that's available from your employer. Um, it relates to being, yes, physically distanced, but also staying socially connected to family and friends. It's how we've been able to gain up-to-date information about the COVID-19 crisis. And without access to proper information, it's hard for residents to have access to information they need to make good decisions and stay safe during this pandemic. We know that it is really hitting hard in communities where there is lower levels of access to preventative health care, um, to healthy, nutritious uh, foods, to uh, wellness activities in general. And, and we've seen that uh, further um, damaged by the fact that the information getting out to communities to protect themselves against this virus is also disparately impacted during the pandemic by the digital divide. Once again, this is an issue that disproportionately affects Black and Latino households.